Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my very first review, maybe not my last, I don't really know. <laughs> this is my second video, or third. I've, I'm making two in the process, so I don't know which one this will come, but um, anyway, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Nendroid Sleeping Pouch, and this is the Kashu Kiyomitsu version um, from Toka and Rambu, but um, I just like to say before I do this review, I haven't played Token Rambu, and um, this is the only Nendoroid pouch. Like these are the only Nendoroid pouches they were selling on this website I was looking at, which is called Tokyo Otaku Mode. They had only Token Rambu ones, and then one Love Live one, which was a pre-order. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to wait to get my Nendoroid pouch, so I was like, okay, I'll just go for one of the Token Rambu ones. So um, I picked one up because on on Tokyo Taku mode they have lots of special offers and stuff they can get coupons and I was like oh I have so many coupons might as well just use them up so I decided to get a little something and I picked up one of these pouches which I was looking at um so I don't own the figure I just thought you know what I'll just get an Endori pouch because they look cool to be fair <laughs> and I was like I can just like put this in my bag or something um but it looks really cool the little tassel at the end is really cool and it looks um it's good quality i must say um it's a little thin but otherwise i was pretty happy with it it was only 13.99 dollars which for me is like nine pounds and 90p in the uk um and of course i use a coupon anyway so this we got it for free the packaging came with just this and it has the um symbol for dokkan rambu but it won't focus. Come on. There you go. Um, I've already opened it. And it has this thing here. I don't know what this says because I can't read Japanese. So, oh well. Um, anyway, so this pouch, I only had one Nendoroid when I first got it. Um, I got another one today in the mail. But <laughs> I just elbowed the table. That's great. Um, but when I tried putting my Nendoroid inside it, he didn't exactly fit properly so then droid i'm using for this example is oh god he's a bit deformed okay sorry <laughs> his head was falling off slightly um i'm i was using erin so yeah i mean pretty standard nendroid like it's meant for a male nendroid and i only have a male nendroid so i was like this should be okay but if i put him inside the z zipper is a bit stiff but it's generally okay I put him inside there and his head is supposed to poke out a little bit. Okay, it's very difficult and fiddly. Right. Okay, so if I put him like that, where his head's poking out, and if I jiggle him around a bit, he will sink downwards. Now, I was a bit disappointed with this, but they give you like a chunk of foam in the packet thing like that it came as one piece don't worry i just cut it um but they gave you like a chunk of foam inside it and i was like hang on so if he's slipping downwards i can't have that because look he goes all the way down to the bottom and i did see the picture on the website and it had the original figure this pouch was made for inside it and even when it was open you could see there was a gap at the bottom and i was like well nendoroid's not exactly going to fit in there perfectly but these instructions i have a feeling this is what you're supposed to do but I don't know if that was the foam. I have a feeling it, it is the foam <laughs> that I was talking about. I thought I meant like the cardboard and I was like, that's not gonna work. But what I did, I just like cut a chunk of the foam out of here and just shoved it in the bottom. So that's what you're supposed to do, I reckon. Which I think if you have a product and it was it was designed specifically to have an Android in it, you shouldn't have to like wedge a bit of foam in the bottom of it so it actually fits. You should like design it so it will fit without having anything wedged in it. So I mean, if I wedge this in the bottom, I mean, it's not very practical because it sticks out a bit, but if you wedge that in the bottom, stick Erin in there. I think I'm supposed to trim the bottom a bit more, but whatever. Yeah, hang on, I'll just trim that bottom part for you guys. Okay, so I did a pretty shoddy job with cutting that. <laughs> but then it's set, I think, with the instructions, um, obviously I can't read this, but I'm guessing you're supposed to cut it like that so you can fit the actual legs of your end in there. So I'm just gonna shove that in like that. 
I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit rubbish. Um, then put your Nandoroid in. Oh my god. Okay. There you go. There is Aaron in his pouch. Well, not his pouch specifically, but now if you shake it, he won't fall to the bottom. So there you go. That's how you do that. Which I now understand that is what you're supposed to do, but I think it's a bit silly. So it's a bit of a hassle. I feel like getting an Android out and then the foam falls out. You have to wedge it back in there. It's a bit annoying, but otherwise, I really like the um, material this is made out of. And it has a really nice chunky key chain thing. It won't focus, but whatever. But it's like, it's very secure. <laughs> and the zip won't just like loosely come down, so it's very sturdy. So your Nendoroid won't just like fall out of it. And yeah, overall I think it's a pretty good design. And it'll probably suit the actual Nendoroid it's made for more. Because obviously it has... I'm assuming this is like their little design they have in the game. I don't really know. Don't judge. Um, but yeah, overall it's a really good pouch and it's very cheap for what it is. And of course you could make your own, I guess, but this is like good quality. And it's shaped a little weirdly when you put your Android in it, but it's fine. And it's just cute. It's cool. <laughs> so thank you for watching this review. Um, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more figure reviews and openings and hauls and stuff and yeah um, I'm new to YouTube so I'm a bit of a noob at this but whatever <laughs> thank you for watching that is all from me goodbye